In the midst of the picturesque Rocky Mountains of Colorado, nestled in the quaint town of Estes Park, lies a grand edifice that whispers tales from the past, the Stanley Hotel. This majestic hotel, stands as a monument to early 20th century opulence, has gained notoriety not just for its stunning architecture and illustrious guests, but for something that lurks beyond the ordinary, in the realm of the supernatural. Known as one of the most haunted hotels in the United States. But what is it about this grand hotel that stirs the whispers of the past in every hallway? What secrets do its rooms hold? Is it merely the power of suggestion, or is there something truly otherworldly residing within its walls? Let's venture together into this fascinating exploration of the Stanley Hotel. Where each corner tells a story, and every echo might just be a voice from beyond. The story of the Stanley Hotel begins with a tale not of ghosts and ghouls, but of innovation and health. Freeland Oscar Stanley, the inventor and entrepreneur best known for the Stanley Steamer Automobile, arrived in Estes Park in 1903, seeking relief from tuberculosis. The crisp, clean air of the Rocky Mountains did wonders for his health, and so, enamored by the beauty of the region, Stanley decided to build a grand hotel, bringing a touch of East Coast elegance to the wilds of Colorado. Completed in 1909, the Stanley Hotel was a marvel of its time, boasting not only luxurious accommodations but also modern amenities unheard of in the West, like electric lights, telephones, and ensuite bathrooms. Designed in the Georgian architectural style, its grand facade and opulent interiors attracted the elite, offering a retreat into nature without foregoing the comforts of high society. Stanley, along with his wife, Flora, were the heart and soul of the hotel. They were known for their gracious hospitality and love for the arts, often hosting extravagant parties where Flora played the piano for their esteemed guests. The hotel quickly became a summer haven for the wealthy, a place where the cares of the world seemed distant, and the beauty of the Rockies was right at their doorstep. But beyond the luxury and parties, whispers of the unexplained began to surface. Guests spoke of strange occurrences, fleeting shadows in the corridors, unexplained sounds at night, and a feeling of being watched. These tales were initially dismissed as mere fancies of overactive imaginations, but as years passed, the stories persisted, adding an air of mystery to the hotel's grandeur. The Stanley's legacy went beyond just bricks and mortar, they had created a place where the boundary between history and legend blurred. It was as if the hotel itself had a life beyond what the eyes could see, a character shaped by those who walked its halls. As Stanley passed away in 1940, and Flora followed soon after, their presence, some say, never truly left the hotel. The once peaceful hotel began to garner a reputation for something far more intriguing, a hotbed for paranormal activity. The most famous of these spectral tales centers around room 217. It's said that during a massive storm in the early 20th century, an explosion in this room led to the injury of a chambermaid named Elizabeth Wilson. While she survived, guests have since reported unusual occurrences in this room, items moving on their own, the sensation of being watched, and unexplained lights. But room 217 isn't the only epicenter of the unexplained. The hotel's grand ballroom also has its share of ghostly tales. Guests have reported hearing faint piano music, often attributed to Flora Stanley, continuing to entertain long past her time. The ballroom lights are known to flicker on and off, with no apparent cause, and laughter echoes with no source in sight. The concert hall, another central location for these eerie occurrences, is often described as one of the most active paranormal sites in the hotel. The Stanley Hotel's journey into the annals of supernatural fame took a definitive turn in 1974, when author Stephen King and his wife Tabitha spent a night at the hotel. King, already a burgeoning name in the world of horror literature, found himself staying in room 217, the very room steeped in eerie legends. The hotel, almost deserted and preparing to close for the winter, presented the perfect, unsettling backdrop for inspiration. That night, King experienced a vivid nightmare about his young son being chased around the hotel by a malevolent presence. Jolting awake, and stepping out onto the balcony to smoke a cigarette, 
King looked over the empty hotel, its corridors and rooms emanating an eerie stillness. By the time the cigarette was done, the foundations of The Shining had been laid in his mind. When The Shining was published in 1977, it was not just a success, it became a cultural phenomenon. The novel, centered on a haunted hotel and the family that falls under its sinister influence, captured the imagination of readers worldwide. This connection brought a new wave of guests, not just those seeking luxury and solitude, but also horror enthusiasts and King's fans, eager to experience the place that inspired such a chilling tale. As the Stanley Hotel's fame as a paranormal hotspot grew, it attracted not only curious tourists but also serious paranormal investigators and ghost hunters. These experts came equipped with a variety of tools, from EMF, electromagnetic field, meters to thermal cameras, in an attempt to document and understand the supernatural phenomena reported within its walls. Numerous investigations have been conducted over the years, some yielding intriguing results. Investigators have reported sudden temperature drops, unexplained shadows, and EVP, electronic voice phenomena, recordings that suggest the presence of unseen entities. One of the most talked about findings includes voices captured on audio, seemingly belonging to no visible source, with some even claiming to have recorded the voice of Flora Stanley, still playing her beloved piano. These investigations have often focused on the hotel's most notorious spots, Room 217, the ballroom, the concert hall, and the underground tunnels. Despite the extensive investigations and numerous anecdotes, skeptics argue that the experiences could be attributed to the power of suggestion, the hotel's old structure causing natural noises, or simply the human mind playing tricks in a setting ripe for imagination. However, for believers and enthusiasts, these investigations provide tantalizing evidence of a world beyond our understanding. Today, the Stanley Hotel stands not only as a evidence to early 20th century luxury and elegance but also as an encouragement for those intrigued by the paranormal. Its reputation as one of America's most haunted hotels has transformed it into a unique tourist destination, blending its historical charm with the allure of its ghostly legends. In addition to its paranormal attractions, the Stanley Hotel remains a fully functioning hotel, offering a luxurious stay with breathtaking views of the Rocky Mountains. The hotel also hosts a variety of events, from elegant weddings to film festivals, drawing visitors for reasons beyond its haunted reputation. As night falls over the Stanley Hotel, with its grand facade bathed in the soft glow of the moonlight, one can't help but feel a part of its enduring story. Whether one believes in the supernatural or not, the hotel offers an experience that transcends the ordinary, a journey into a realm where legend and history are inextricably intertwined. As the night deepens and the shadows lengthen in the halls of the Stanley Hotel, it remains a place where each creaking floorboard, each flickering light, tells a story. It is a place where the echoes of the past are felt in every hallway, inviting all who visit to step into a story that continues to be written, a tale as timeless as the mysteries it holds. As the shadows of mystery fade, we close another enthralling chapter in our journey of discovery. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this episode, and subscribe for more enigmatic tales. Your support helps us uncover more secrets hidden in the dark corners of history and myth. Until then, keep seeking the story behind the mystery.